All right, hi everybody. This is the recording for, or the demo for BioC's role. So as you can see, we got a lot of really awesome coursework done for this hackathon. You know, about three or four different courses now. So we have a chip seek course, we have an RNA seek course, we have the original single cell RNA seek course, and we actually have a really cool course that's mostly geared towards neuroinformatics that shows you the differences between single cell RNA and single nucleus RNA. So yeah, we'll be going over some of the courses now, and so you'll get to uh, see them. He was busy on the um, fast food downloads and the pre-processing stuff, and the part that we're starting here is um, the processing of the gene counts, and then the lesson that I just pulled up is um, a lesson to kind of have a first look at the RNA-seq data after the gene counts have been pre-processed. So um, the first thing we're doing here is calculating distance between our samples. Um, And then we are working on making a little heat map to look at the distance, for example. We're learning two heat mappers. And we have a figure created here. And um, then the follow up question asks a little bit about the. Um, what what the students can see in this in this heat map, and then they can enter an answer here. And then the second part of this is understanding principal component analysis, so they get to plot a PCA plot. We thought uh, one area of uh, single cell data that people are working on a lot is in neuroinformatics, and. Um, if you're working with tissues, like brain tissue, a lot of times you'll use uh, single nuclei RNA-seq as opposed to single cell RNA-seq. And uh, there are, uh, most workflows are based on uh, single cell RNA-seq. And so we wanted to highlight some of the differences between single nuclei RNA-seq and single cell RNA-seq. Uh, so that people are aware of those when they do call the control and analysis uh, downstream and uh, look at those data sets. So there's this great uh, data set that's available um, that has both single cell RNA-seq data and uh, single nu nuclear RNA-seq data. And uh, so uh, this lesson uh, goes through um, just some of the, the background um, of that data set and some of the things that are different, like mitochondrial um, ribosomal RNA content, uh, the number of genes you find in your data set, uh, the number um, of reads that map to exons and introns and um, some things that you might want to know when you use Surat or other packages. And so yeah, the next course, which was done by Matthew Moss with our team, uh, actually covers a chip seek uh, workflow, which is really awesome because it's totally bioconductor based and you get to go through the raws all the way to the peak calling and annotation, which is really nice. All right, so while we're going over this chip seek footage, I also wanted to give a huge thank you to the team who made all of these courses happen. Uh, it really just elevated this project and made it feel super real, and they were just incredible throughout. So really big thank you to Julia Philippe, uh, Nikolai Vaughn, Kuga Glenn, Elizabeth Hudgens, Benson Lee, and Matt Moss. Uh, this was a really amazing all-star team and I cannot stress how, how much work they did so thank you so much to all of you guys who see, saw the vision of the project and who who've made it your own thank you